right now uh, with uh, Matt Mitrione. He is fighting in the Bellator fight coming up, but he's also a former uh, NFL player with the Minnesota Vikings and the New York Giants after a career with uh, Purdue. He was roommates with Drew Brees. So you're about to hear some really interesting stories from a really interesting guy. And if any of you are uh, MMA fight fans, uh, you've probably seen Big Country Nelson fight many times, and Matt Mitrione is going to be fighting him uh, in the Heavyweight Grand Prix for Bellator on Friday, February the 16th at Mohegan Sun. And he sits down with us now here at Super Bowl 52 on Radio Row, the former Giant, former Viking defensive tackle. Now, Bellator MMA Heavyweight. Matt, welcome, man. What's up, brother? How are you, man? We're all good. We're all uh, looking forward to the Super Bowl, and I know, uh, yeah, go ahead. Are you a West Virginia alum? I am. All right, so my dude, Pat McAfee. Oh, yeah. All right, so are you guys cool? Do you guys know each other? Uh, I covered him when he, uh, yeah, I think the last year I was there. He probably I covered him a lot. Oh, yeah. you're a West Virginia guy also? Yeah, he still yeah. covers right. the team. West so Virginia. do you know my, my wrestling coach, Greg Jones? Yeah, I know oh, yeah. him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, all right, wow. So well, we're kind of deep in the West Virginia roots here. Right? I always, <laughs> everybody said, I, everybody always laughs because every shirt I own has a little WV somewhere on it. Does it? It's like, uh, well done. Yeah, it's always hidden somewhere. You can always find yeah, it. Yeah, you're like, like, where's Waldo, but West exactly, Virginia? Exactly, exactly. So WV, where's where's Virginia? Exactly. <laughs> where's West I'm Virginia? Trying. I'm trying. Yeah, right yeah. So I want to. I read somewhere that you have a really unique story about how you went from football to. MMA and it might have ties with uh, a former Philly. I, I do, I do. Um, it's actually, and it was it, remarkably serendipitous. Like, it really, the, the way that things worked out is incredible. Um, so, I, NFL got done with me in week six of 2005. Jacob, my oldest, who's right here with me, uh, w w was born week seven of 05. I told Tice, Coach Mike Tice, mm -hmm. told him, I was like, hey, look, man, if you guys don't bring me back for two weeks uh, of the active season, I'm done. I'm going to retire. And, uh, and they're always like, well, we're going to bring you back. We're going to bring you back. Just like always, as soon as the season was over, hey, we're finally going to bring you back. Well, I can't do that. I have a kid now. I, got, I can't be caught in the pipe dream. I moved on. I started the sports nutrition After company. how many years? Uh, in the NFL, uh, two active years, one year in IR. Okay. Um, and then so you um, made that decision pretty early in your life that I'm done with this. I did. I had to. Okay. I, I couldn't. I couldn't put. I couldn't go into another off season with no income guaranteed and hope that I make it having a child. That put too many people at, at, uh, in limbo. The predicated on my ego, and I couldn't do it. So I left, started the sports nutrition company, um, and then with the company that we, we that I used or that I started, uh, we had a, for, a post workout formulation, and it got in the hands of Jason Worth, your boy for the Philadelphia Phillies. Uh, he started liking it, started taking it quite a bit. Reached out to me. We're from this. What year is this? Oh, eight, eight nine. Oh eight, oh nine, okay. something like yeah, that. Yeah, because Yeah, it was oh eight, oh nine, right? Yeah. Right. I'm so, just trying to get a timeline for the people. Yeah, no problem. So um, you gotta set this up like one of those Olympic things, so that they get your backstory and then this fight on. Yeah. The sixteenth. You're good. All right. So then, uh, so then, like oh nine or whatever. Uh, Worth and I start doing some work, and he's asking me, "Hey, look, man, will you do me a favor and jump on an amateur MMA show that we're doing in our mutual hometown of, of Springfield, Illinois?" Lot, yeah. But he's like six years younger than me, so I really didn't know him very well. I just kind of knew of him. But um, somehow our product fell in his hands. He started using it, liked it, was kind of promoting us within the Phillies. And then um, and then that asked me to jump on the show. I couldn't say no to that opportunity to an all-star just using my product. So uh, I said, yeah, started training, got injured, missed his show, but I kept training. I kept training, got a phone call from the UFC about six months after I started training, after I missed Jason's fight. And uh, the UFC said, hey, man, uh, even though you have no fights, you've never fought before, we hear you're remarkably obnoxious and pretty athletic <laughs> and that you might be good, good at this. Yeah, right? He's like, so we're going to put on the, the – we're, we're going to do a heavyweight edition of uh, The Ultimate Fighter, and we'd like for you to come in and, and be obnoxious for us and see if we want to bring you on the show. Sure, what the hell? Why not? So they, they like me, how obnoxious I am, of course, right? So they, they, bring, they, they bring me out, and my idea was, look, bring out several bottles of the supplement who cares about fighting? I'm not trying. I, even if I lose the first one, who cares? I'll go out there and I'll just put the product on the shelves and on, on, the, on the countertops for product placement. So that way my product's been seen nationwide, blah, blah, blah. That's the only reason I went on there for. Then I, I, was, I was hated on the show. I was a villain. I was a heel. Fought the, 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 the show favorite. Knocked him out in the second round after the show. And then my next fight was Kimbo. And when I, the way I beat Kimbo, I beat him standing up. And I turned Kimbo into a wrestler. And then the way I beat him, all of a sudden my life changed. It was just the madness happened, you know? And like, like remember, remember Drake, the rapper, the singer-rapper? Sure. Like, remember that song he came out with? Like, I know so many people here right now that didn't know last year. Like, like he has, uh, that's one of his verses. That was the story of my life. Like, it was, it was so different within one calendar year 
that I just couldn't sustain the company anymore. I just got too busy, and my mind for minutia doesn't work too well. So I decided to move on and, and really focus on fighting, and that's been my gig ever since. And he's going to do it again on Friday, February 16th. Mohegan Sun is the heavyweight Grand Prix again. Big country, Nelson. So many MMA fans uh, are probably very familiar with him. As you mentioned, uh, you fought some very familiar names. Which fight to you uh, is your most memorable? Well, <clears throat> you know, my most memorable, I'll tell you, is the first time I fought Roy. I fought Roy in 2012. And Roy was the first guy to legitimately beat me. Hit me with an uppercut, uh, knocked me down, fight got stopped. Um, and, and so that was my first real loss I consider. I had one before, but it was a decision. And I should have won that decision, in my opinion, so I don't really count that. <laughs> but, um, you know, what I found was is that uh, I made a lot of rookie mistakes. It was my sixth fight of all time, ever, ever, ever. And, um, and I didn't I, – I, I, I failed the IQ test. Roy is rather immobile. He throws a big right hand, and if you stay in front of him and you get touched on, see, look, my dude Spice here, he's going to he changes the game, buddy. Like, do you guys, are you guys familiar with Spice Adams? This is Anthony Adams from the Bears, yeah, from the 49ers, man. Penn State, Holy. the, the, the man. Um, well, anyways, so um, so as we get to uh, – I don't, hell, I don't remember. Spice always changes the subject. I don't remember. That fanny pack he was wearing just really threw me <laughs> off. I mean, that thing was amazing. And a Gatorade tower? He's rocking it. He's Who rocking comes it. in with that thing, baby? <laughs> well, so. I'll tell you, uh, there's a lot of big names that people will recognize on this card. Nelson, Mir, Son, and uh, Kigmo. And uh, you'll be fighting in that in the heavyweight. And you have been uh, part of the highest rated in history, two-time performance of the night, fight of the night. So... We anticipate an entertaining fight that night. Hey, brother, all I do is get in there and throw leather. I fight to the best of my ability, whatever I can do, and I, I do it uh, um, balls out, brother. That's, now, that's the only way I know how to go. And you played, is that uh, dumb you, button right there? No, is that what no, that is? No, no, no. Uh, you played here in Minnesota too, right? Yes, sir. Yes, I was active with the Vikings. Awesome. Yeah, so Mike Tyson was a good experience. All out here. It, it's, it's cool, man. I'm happy for it. And, like, everybody's so polite. Everybody's so nice out here. Not nice to the Eagles fans. No. <laughs> but I, I'm telling you what, I'm going. I don't, I don't think anybody's nice to the Eagles fans. But uh, I'm going to go. I'm going Eagles. I think Eagles are going to win it. Okay. I go Eagles 31, by, uh, uh, Patriots either 24 or 17. High scoring, entertaining night. That's what I go for. Just like your Dude, the, the, I was really, I was going for the Vikings, to be honest with you. And the way that the Eagles just absolutely dismantled them, their game plan was exceptional against the Vikings. Exceptional. So, Offense and defense. So from a guy who played the game, obviously, uh -huh. and you've been around it. Was that just being out coached? I mean, did the, did Peterson literally just out coach the Vikings? I, I believe one hundred percent. Nothing changed other than the fact that he he showed when he didn't come. He didn't show when he blitzed. He like the 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 the, the way he kept them on their toes, the defense on their toes, uh, offensively was just genius. It was it was a, a, a symphony of, of of moving parts that worked flawlessly. Uh, so that's boy. what I got. Well, we'll see if Matt Young on the card, Bellator World Grand Prix. It is Friday, February 16th at Mohegan Sun. Good sounds, luck, Matt. Sounds good, brother. Thanks a lot, man. Appreciate it. Good meeting you. As always. All right, good luck. This is